Hey everybody, Sharon here from TheGamingAct.com. Here we are today back in the Into the Wood update for Grounded going for the Splinter Master achievement. This is to craft a tier 3 arrow. This is going to first require you to get a Termite Axe and to get the Termite Axe recipe and its components, you are going to have to go over to the wood pile, which is going to be in the northern part of the garden. It should be in the upper left most corner of the map. So from the field station here, what you want to do is you want to make sure you head on over. This is going to require that you have some pretty good gear, so make sure you get a nice weapon and make sure you get a nice armor set before tackling this. Once you make it over to the wood pile, you are going to encounter the two types of enemies that you need to loot for their components. You are first going to have the regular termites, which is going to drop two of the three components that you need. You are going to find the termite parts and the bug gloop on it. So make sure you take them out. They can be a little tough, so be careful. Make sure you try to keep the fight close because it will spray acid, which will mess you up. So the regular termite should be able to drop two of the three components that you are going to need, which are going to be the termite parts as well as the bug gloop. Then you are also going to encounter the stronger termite soldiers. Termite soldiers, in addition to being able to drop termite parts and bug gloop, can also drop the third type of component you need, which are going to be the termite chompers. They are going to be way tougher, so again, I recommend coming into here with some really good gear before you actually start tackling these guys. But once you get the three types of components, make sure you take these back to the field station. Make sure you scan any one of the three, and you should get the recipe for the termite axe. And then once you have the recipe, it's time to gather more components and then actually craft the thing. So if you need more of anything, just make sure you head back into the wood pile and start farming until you have enough. You are going to, again, need termite parts, termite chompers, and bug gloop. Make sure you take these over to a workbench, and then you are going to craft the termite axe under weapons. It's going to be a tier 3 axe, and this one is going to call for two termite chompers, three termite parts, and four bug gloop. So once you have enough, just make sure you craft them, and then you should have the axe in hand. Make sure you equip the termite axe and now you should be able to harvest splinters. Thankfully there are going to be some that you can harvest right next to you at the field station up here. So they should look like this. All you have to do is just make sure you use the tier 3 axe to chop them and then just harvest the splinters that they drop. And then once you have at least one splinter, make sure you take this back to the field station and make sure you scan this to get the recipe for the splinter arrows. Now, we are going to need more splinters in order to craft some arrows, so you can look for them in wooded areas. So thankfully, we are going to be right next to the wood pile, so make sure you look in there for some. Now, do keep in mind, if you plan on harvesting splinters from the wood pile, you are going to have to deal with the termites that are in here. If they are still giving you trouble and you want a better resource spot for splinters, you can also try your hand at the picnic table. There are going to be less splinters there, however, it's going to be a safer place to harvest them. Whatever the case, just make sure you grab about a handful or so. Once we have our splinters, the recipe is also going to call for a second ingredient in the form of dust mite fuzz, which can be dropped from dust mites. Dust mites can be found at two specific locations in the northern part of the garden. The best place to find them is going to be the shed porch. So what you want to do is you want to make your way over to the eastern half of the north garden. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you look for the bikes. You can take this soda can up to the tire and then you can walk up to the frame of the bike and then take it up to the top walking towards the handlebars. And then once you make it to the top, just make sure you drop down onto the porch. And you will notice there's going to be this welcome mat right here by the door. On this welcome mat is going to be your best spot to grab some dust mites. So just make sure you find them and make sure you loot them for their fuzz. Again, just like the termites, they can be really tough. So make sure you come into here with some really good gear. They don't look like they can give you much trouble, but when they gang up on you, they will. So try your absolute best to defeat a few, and then you should be able to loot them for their resource, which is going to be the Dust Mite Fuzz. If you're having trouble, just make sure you get off of the welcome mat. Make sure you try to lure them away from it, because you don't want them to cluster up on you. Nonetheless, just make sure you defeat a couple, and then make sure you loot them for their fuzz, and then just take these back to a workbench along with the splinters, and then we are going to combine these into our arrows. So the recipe is going to call for five splinters and two pieces of dust mite fuzz. You're only going to need one set, so just make sure you craft a set, which should get you five arrows, and then once you do so, you should be good for the achievement. There it is, it's going to be for 50 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.